The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I want to tell you a story about a boy named Rafi. Rafi was 17 years old, lived in Yerushalayim a number of years ago, and is on a bus. He's a yeshiva student, and he's trying to figure out, learning the works of Musar, of ethics, what is life all about? What are we doing here? And he's working on that, thinking about that, and suddenly something happens that changes his life. The bus driver has the radio on. It's a music station. Rafi's ignoring it. But suddenly, the announcer says, we have to cut in with a live broadcast. A 10-year-old boy has called the radio station. He's in crisis. Can people please listen to this and help? And he puts the kid on. And the kid starts crying. He says, I'm one of five children. Our father died a year ago. Our mother is a widow. And you hear this lady crying. The electric company just shut off the power because we owe 1,800 shekel. And we can't pay it. Can anybody please help us? So the host of the show says, Mazinim Yikarim, dear listeners, if anybody can help, here's the number of the radio station. And Rafi is electrified. He says, I can't believe it. I've been thinking about what my task is on this world. And boom, I have a mission. And the bus was nice and warm. It was freezing cold outside. Rafi jumps off at the next stop goes to a payphone, which they still had in those days, where you put money in to make a phone call. And he calls up the radio station and he says, listen, I heard the broadcast. I will raise the money. Tell that family now. Everything's going to be okay. And then he starts raising the money. He looked at his own wallet. It's like, all right, I got 300 shekel. That's another 1,500 I need to raise. And he goes into store after store. And he says, listen, there was something on the radio. Yeah, yeah, we heard it. Are you that guy? We heard that there's going to be a guy who's raising the money because the announcer came back on. Yes, I'm that guy. And people started giving 50 shekel, 100 shekel, 200 shekel. Finally, the biggest donor it was a guy who owned a furniture store, and he said, I'll give 700 shekel. And Rafi now has the 1,800 shekel. He runs to Romema, to the radio station, rings the bell, and he says, here's the money. Please get it to that family so they can have power again. And the radio host is there. He's like, who are you? He says, my name doesn't matter. No, just tell me, who are you? He says, I'm Rafi. Rafi what? Doesn't matter. It's not about me. And Rafi leaves the radio station. Ten years go by. Rafi's now 27 years old, married with a couple of kids, and he's a Torah scholar in Jerusalem. Inspiring rabbi. There's one problem. There's not a lot of money in the yeshiva in which he studies, and he doesn't really have enough money. And he's talking to a friend of his in the kitchen, who says, what's going on? He said, not, nothing really great. They just shut off my power. Really, what happened? He says, I owe 3,800 shekel. His friend says, well, there's a free loan society. He says, I'm maxed out with that free loan society. They won't lend me anything else. And just then, another guy walks in. They're making coffee before morning Seder in the yeshiva. The guy says, did you just say your power got cut off? He says, yeah. How much do you owe? 3,800 shekel. I was kind of embarrassed. He says, wait one sec. Now, by this time, they have cell phones. Guy pulls out a cell phone, walks outside, comes back, and he says, I need the meter number on your bill. Rafi says, I happen to have the bill right here. He pulls out the bill, gives the guy the bill. He says, I'll be right back. Guy goes out. Comes back a minute later, he says, your bill has been settled and paid. They're going to turn your power on in three hours. He's like, what? What are you talking about? Why did you do that? You don't even have any money. The guy says, it's not me. It's my Doda Shoshana. Aunt Shoshana has always asked me, if there's ever anybody who needs their electricity turned back on, you come to me, I'm going to pay for it. Ravi couldn't believe it. His wife calls him hours later. The power's back on. How did you do it? Ravi's like, I don't know. Ravi comes home. He and his wife call up Doda, Doda Shoshana and thank her. Why did you do this? And she said, because 10 years ago, I was a widow and I had no money. I had five kids. They shut my power off. And some angel out of nowhere raised money. I don't even know him. And I said to myself, that is the power of the Jewish people. We love each other. We care about each other. And we don't even know each other. And we're still willing to do something like that. And I said, when my financial straits are better, I'm going to help somebody else like you. I've remarried. I have some money. And I wanted to help. And Rafi says to her, what was the name of that guy who helped you 10 years ago? She said, all I know about him is that his name was Rafi. 
he wouldn't tell the station anything else. And Rafi said, I am that guy. And they both started crying and they both gave each other heartfelt blessings for good health and success because they both recognized the power of Jews reaching out to one another. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.